Andy for sharing all of the wonderful opportunities that are coming up in our CPL program. My first tip is going to be about our data dashboard. When you go to the Firefly homepage and you click on your students' data here, um, I've just hidden the names and the photos just to make it a little bit easier for me in this video so that I don't have to blur things out. One of the things that we've done, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit to have a look at and zoom in again. Let me do that all again. Zoom into here. We've actually color coded some of the data here for primary support for learning or secondary learning support. And this gold color here, when you see that on the link, it means obviously that they that the students are part of the support for learning or learning support program. If they are red, then it's part of the EAL and learning support or support for learning. And the gray is part of the enrichment or high cal in secondary. So some color coding on there just to make it easier to spot those. What we plan to do as well in the future is highlight the students uh, that are sensitive to the air quality side of things as well so that you can quickly identify those students in your classes. The um, other thing, my, my sort of like my second thing here is that we've put a link on here because uh, staff were saying that sometimes they that they find that information just a little bit too small. So if you click on that, it will open up the whole thing and a full page view. Uh, thank you for those people that uh, suggested that idea. My third thing, sometimes though, actually there are other reports and you click on here to access those other reports, but there may be some that are beyond that as well. And the way that you get to those is under learning. Look on the drop down menu, you click on the Power BI and it will open up a dashboard and you can navigate through in that particular way. Um, again, going back to the dashboard or the data dashboards, one of the things that we've done as well, it's a tiny little tweak, but uh, I think it's thank you to Romeo for uh, sort of like planting the seed in my mind about it. When you click on parent email address now, it will automatically obviously put the parent email addresses in there, but now it will also pull off the name of the student that you're sending. So dear parent guardian of Tamwa, and you can then start composing. So that will be injected in there automatically just to save you your valuable seconds. Um, last for me is a little one for parents that are handing their device to uh, your child, let's say in terms of when they're watching YouTube and things like this as part of, uh, I don't know, some pacifier. Um, what I'm going to do is just show you on my device. This is a new feature which um, I discovered the other day. Uh, when you click on YouTube and then let me just drop down from here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on my account by clicking, well, it's up there somewhere, but clicking my icon. And then you can go to settings. And under settings, you can see you've got parental settings, actually, if you do have some uh, children that are using uh, YouTube Kids, for example. But the one that I want to look at is under general. And under general, you can see here there's a new mode here. It says restricted mode. I move my pen here or my mouse here. This helps to hide potentially mature videos. So you can switch that on or off. Obviously, if you're handing it to a, a child, I would definitely have that switched on. And you can see here, this has been here a while, but uh, YouTube reminds me every 45 minutes to have a break. Talking of breaks, enjoy your weekend. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.